everybody and welcome to Planning with Donna. Today I'm doing a junk journaling pen holder for your junk journal. Now, I, this is not my idea. I got this idea from G. Kerr. Um, I will link her channel below. Now, I'm just doing a variation of what she did. She basically made a snippet strip and then put like muslin behind it and sewed that together. And then um, she did a snap, like a little, she did a um, piece of ribbon or a piece of fabric and had that sticking up like that from behind on the top and the bottom. And she put snaps on her journal where she could snap that down. So I'm going to do alternative to that. So I've went ahead and I've took some of my scrap fabric that's to the on the site matches the uh, upcoming the teal journal that I'm working on. Now I didn't put right sides together and turn it inside out. If you do not have a sewing machine, you can sew this by hand or you can glue it. You do not have to sew it. So basically, what I did because I didn't want to get all fancy with it and everything is I just put wrong sides together. I wasn't going to flip it inside out. But what I did do right here, if you can see, is I flipped that under so that your pen would not hang on that coming up and down and it wouldn't wear down that and fray it. Okay, because this fabric will fray if you don't use pinking shears. So what I did was I just folded this over and then you can just glue this or you can stitch it hand stitch it, or you can sew it on your machine. fiber tack, any kind of fabric glue will work. So as you can see, I would just fold it over like that, both of these. Then after those dry, I put them together like so, and then I would just glue down both sides and across the bottom, and you have your casing for your pen, okay? I sewed it, so it sewed all the way around, and I have the opening here at the top, and that's tucked under, okay? So, I just wanted to share, you can use any kind of scrap, any any kind of scrap fabric that you have, any color, whatever, just use what you have. Now, like I said, she made snippet strips, and then she put that on top of fabric. So, you can use a, a thicker paper with it, but, and then a snip, like a piece of fabric behind it, whatever you wanna do. So I've got this sewed and ready to go. I did take some of my lace and I made a ribbon, okay? Um, a ruffle, a ribbon. Oh, Lordy, I can't even think today. I don't, I have not felt well uh, this weekend. And um, yeah, just not feeling myself. So bear with me. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Fabric Fusion and I'm gonna dot it around my little top of my, of this here, and I wanna put it down about right there. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down, and I'm gonna get my little silicone hickey here. And try to hold that down until it adheres. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good day today. It's been a long day for me. Like I said, I just have not been feeling the best and I I wanted to film a video and I thought, let's just go ahead and do a video. Now I am gonna pull this sort of taut like that. Not too taut, but so I can lay it down and I'm gonna flip this part under so that it comes even with the bottom, like that. Then you could hang a dangle off of it if you wanted to. So I'm not gonna do that with this one. I ordered some Fabri-Tac and some three-in-one from Amazon, that should be coming in in a few days. And I'm gonna share what I got today in the mail if I don't forget 
my brain is just not working, so I'm lucky I can remember my name at this point. Okay, I don't want to pull on that where it makes it pull. There we go. I think I got it. Lay that down like so. And put that down the middle. Push that down. And hopefully that'll stay down. Here we go. I ordered some stuff from Crafty Me Shop. She does lace and appliques and stuff on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I heard about it from Grace B. Creations. Uh, her name is Karen. Um... And let me just say, this lace is gorgeous. I also did an order from Miss Nairi because she's got in some new items. And I got that in today. And this is not wanting to stick down. There we go. I'll have to put some more glue on that, that's for sure. Make that stick. I think it is absorbed right into the fabric. Might not be able to stick no pin or nothing down in here when I get done. <laughs> it might just be a snippet strip. Okay, there we go. Let's see. I don't want it to. I don't want it to glue closed on me. No, it's not. Okay, we're good. So I've got my. Got this down. It's not adhered as good as I'd like, but I think it'll stay. That little piece right there is just being contrary. Here we go. Okay. So if you end up getting glue on there and you don't want it to show, you can always do. Um, some covering over top of it. I do think what I will do is take, let me see here. I've got some of this. I like to sort of hide that rib down the middle there. So I think I'm gonna take my little scissors and go right down through the middle with this and run it down through there. Now it doesn't have to be Fancy schmancy, it can be snippet strips, it can be fabric strips, it can be whatever you want it to be. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Okay. Now, as if I wasn't having enough trouble <laughs> trying to get the lace to lay down, I figure there's probably enough glue on here to lay this down. Okay, so I'm gonna trim that one off, and it went a flying. And I am going to put some more glue down through here. I'll have glue all over me before it's over with. So, I hope your Monday is going great. The new job is going good. Uh, still in training. You know, it takes a while to get all of your logons and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just a process. You know, anytime you start a new job, you've got all kinds of stuff you got to get figured out and all that good stuff. So... Some down through here. I thought I had plenty, but apparently I did not. Can you believe tomorrow is August? It's like I cannot hardly believe it's going to be August. It's just the summer has flown by. Flown by. And it's been, it's not been the greatest weather here. We've had a lot of uh, rain 
but it's also been tropically hot as well. But the Abby seems to have had a good summer so far. She's gotten to go swimming and all that stuff, and they got to go on vacation to Georgia and all that good stuff. So here we go. All right, I'm going to quit fiddling around with that. And there is my little pocket. Now, you can cut this off or you can leave it on here. I'm going to cut it off. We'll save that for another day. Okay, so I've got that much done. Now, if you wanted to add some stuff to this, you could. I've got some little stuff over here, like if you wanted to make a snippet strip. So I'm going to set this one aside and let it dry. And I'm going to do one that I just basically am going to glue it like I showed you. So you can see how I did it. I'm just going to come in here and put a little bit of glue. And you could use um, hot glue. If you wanted to use hot glue, you could do that. And that would work nicely. See, and just lay it down. I'm going to put a little bit more right here. Because I just don't want that getting caught. That pin getting caught on there. And then it messing it up. Here we go. All right, so there's that. I'm just going to wipe that little bit off. So we have the first one. Now I'm going to do this one the same way. And I think most of this stuff is, like this glue stuff, is in my Amazon storefront. If not, it's linked. My Amazon storefront is linked, and you just click on that link and purchase whatever you want. It's Fabri-Tac. This is Fabric Fusion. Either one will work. So we've got those folded over. Now, all I'm going to do is run a bead of glue all the way down through here and down through here and here, and we're just going to lay them together. Okay? Try to do a little bit of a skinny. I don't want it to get too globby. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Most of this stuff's going to be covered up anyhow. Okay, down through there. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this one. I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera. I have a really bad habit of not being on camera. And just lay that right on top of that one. Smooth it out, and there you go. Now, you've got to let this sit. You're going to have to let this sit a bit, okay? It's not going to be able to be moved around right away. I'm trying to just level, not level it, even it up. There we go. So, I'm going to leave that alone and just let that dry. But that's how you put it together. Once it dries, if you want to trim it up or anything like that, you can do that, okay? I do want to make sure, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, on this one, I want to just do some little snippets. I do want to make it look. I'm going to put that down. We're just going to just play it and stuff here, there, and everywhere. Just going to. I'm not going to have real any rhyme or reason to nothing. I'm just going to put it down. And I think I'm just going to take, let me see here. I've got some stuff I can tear here. And I've got a piece of book page here. And I can tear it off. And just, I'm going to cover part of it up with this. So I'm going to put this down. Like that. And then I'm going to put this down. Right here on top. 
There we go. And I think I'm gonna take And then I'm gonna bring in this beautiful. There we go. And I'm just putting it wherever. Let's put this on here this time like that. And we can put that on the top. And put a little bit of this down here and put some more of this on here. A little bit of this, just dot it down. I think it's really pretty because the more layers that you add, I think the prettier it is. I do want to get a little snippet of this for down here. One thing about it is I tend to make a bit of a mess when I do anything that has to do with this stuff. Like it just never, like how that's looking. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I think I'm gonna put this right across the bottom to finish that off. And then when it dries, you're good to go. All you have to do is put your pen in there and decide on the kind of closure that you want. Now, when it comes to closures, to add, to put it on whatever it is you wanna put it on, okay? What I am gonna do is most likely probably put a piece of elastic or a piece of fabric. I was thinking like this. You can adhere it whatever way that you want. That needs something. That needs, wait a minute, let me put something on here. Cause this is bugging me. I got a pearl stuck in my fingernail. There we go. Let's put one of these on here. It just needs something. And my fingers are so sticky that I can't hardly, there we go. Put that down right there. And maybe put, this beige one on that big dot of glue and let's get a pearl and we can put that right up here pearls just make everything better these little embellishments just really do so now you have you like a little snippet strip pen holder but what I was gonna do is like take, I think I'm just gonna do it to where like in between your signatures, let me show you. Okay, like here's your book. And I think I'm gonna put it to where in between your signature here in your spine, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it to where I can literally glue it down on the outside glue this to this and it'll be on the outside of the spine okay and then i can just wrap this ribbon around so this will be let's just pretend got it the right way yeah it's like this okay we're just gonna and this is gonna be glued down or sewn down, probably glued, because I've already sewn it. I'm gonna put this like that. I'm gonna lay my pin thing right here. And that's gonna be glued to that. And then when I roll my book over, like this, it's hard to do when I'm trying to show y'all something. I'm trying to keep it on camera and have it make sense. Okay, that's gonna be glued down. That's gonna be, it's not gonna be glued to your spine now. You can take it loose is what I'm saying. I don't want you to get confused. This will be just, this will just be to be the glued to the pin thing. 
but then I'm gonna cut this off and you can tie it on the inside of your journal. That way you can take it loose if you want to, if that makes sense, I hope it did. So that's what I'm gonna do. You could also sew a piece of elastic on here. You could also do it this way and have you a little um, piece of like, almost like a tab to where you could adhere it on the side where it'd be like a tab on there. But I thought the spine with these would be the perfect thing to do. So there is that one. And there is that one. Now that's not good and dry, okay? It needs to dry. And then I'm gonna put both, I'm gonna put one of these in the new book, probably this one, the new journal. And I think I might make up a few of these if you all would be interested in that and just let me know. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna show you what I, what I got in the mail today, okay? Let me get all my goodies out of the way here. I've got a hot mess express going on. Put my book page and let me put my glue pen back in there. All right, so today I got in, where'd I put it? Oh, Lord help me, where did I lay it? Leave it to me to get in a package and lose it. Oh, it's here. <laughs> in the large pile of stuff. Okay, let me get this out of the way. My apologies, guys. I, like I said, I ain't felt good, so. I got these two books from Miss Nairy. I picked them up. I have part of this collection, but then there's part of it that I don't have. So, I wanted to um, pick this up. And so, that came from Creative Kingfisher. And I'll do a quick little... You get two pages of each. This had a lot of the blues and the pinks. If you wanted to, on some of those little tags, you could cut those out and adhere them to something a little bit stronger. So I got the Flora Collection in the pink, Ballerina, and then this one is the, I think this is some kind of a butterfly ocean thing. Yeah, like a travel. But it's got a lot of blue ocean. And so, I really, really like that. I wanna to try to start incorporating some more blue into what I'm doing. So there's that one. I picked up those two books. And then she threw in, even when I tell her not to, she does it anyway. She threw in these um, feathers and these are stickers. And these are really pretty. So all kinds of pretty feathers. I can flip them over. Look at all these. And there's a lot in this package. So I think I'm gonna get some of the green and the blue ones too. So anyway, you get, I don't know how many's in here. Mm, a whole bunch. Okay, so I got that. So now I'm gonna take this out of the way and I am gonna show you the laces that I picked up. Now this lace here came from Nairi Shop. I ordered two packages. So there's two of everything, okay? Come in this little bag, okay? So I got two little pieces of this, which I love, because technically you could cut that into four pieces or just use it as one big piece, like on a tag, um, or make a pocket with this in your journal, so I got two pieces of that. And then I went ahead and laid this out. Two pieces of this one, let me get something. Dark to lay that on, so you got two pieces of that. I absolutely love it. Two pieces of this one, so yeah, that's the right way. I don't know if you can see that. Two pieces of the blue, and these are 12 inches. I love this one, I think it's my favorite. Two pieces of this one, and then two pieces of this cloth. So that's what I picked up from Creative Kingfisher. I will leave her linked below. 
uh, if you are so interested, um, please go and show her some love. So I'm going to bring these back over. I want to keep them here on camera where you all can see them. All right, so I put this to the side. And this came from Crafty Me Shop. She does like a, a, a snippet sale on Friday, a snippet sale on Saturday, and a little snippet sale on Sunday. And then she invoices you, and she does not send you the, the products that you've purchased until you pay your invoice. Uh, and you have to sign up for her shop. So this is Vintage Laces. And I got... So when I say it's vintage, it's not going to be perfect, and that's fine. So I got a meter of this, and I think it's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love that. So that is going to be an upcoming video. And I picked up this. I thought this would go pretty in some of the fall stuff I have planned coming up. So I think I got two meters of that. So, isn't that gorgeous? I really, really like that. So, I just wanted to share that, and I will link that stuff below. Um, again, there's all my laces and my little goodies that I got. And I just wanted to share this little pen holder thing, and I will probably have different variations of this coming up and different ways to adhere it. Uh, once I put this one journal together, and do the flip through of it, I will probably share how I actually, I'm going to use it in the book. So this is my little pen holder. Let me get an ink pen. Okay, and we're just going to stick our little ink pen down there. Right in our little pen holder. So now you have a little pen holder for your journal, you'll have your pen with you all the time. I'm not going to stick a pen in this one just because I want this to dry really good, but this one is more of like a snippet strip pen holder, and then you could hang off uh, some little charms off of this if you wanted to. So I will be having a dangle um, and paper, um, uh, like paper trim, little snippets and clusters for your journal coming up. I'm gonna be doing that probably in the next week. So be watching for that. That was a requested video. Guys, I hope that you found this little tutorial helpful and it's something that you will incorporate into your junk journaling journey. And I will see you on my very next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.